Hi everybody, welcome to Pace Studio on the Road. We're live at Dell Fest in Cumberland, Maryland right now with Sierra Hall. Sierra, it's wonderful to see you. Thanks for joining hey, us. So good to see hey. you guys. Great to be here. Yeah, yeah, it's fun to be out here in a press box above the grandstand with the festivities behind us. So uh, we've cool. only, I think, actually we crossed paths in Nashville the one time, but we we, mostly it's in uh, in New York City, so it's been yep. a total pleasure for us to travel around the country and do cool stuff like this, man. Our so great to see you guys. To, yeah. 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 This is about to get a whole lot better right now. We're going to share three of your songs with our audience. What do you feel like doing first today? Well, we we figured just in the spirit of Dale Fest, you know, it's been three years since this festival's happened, and I know everybody's excited. I've been, I am wearing my Dale for President <laughs> shirt. Del, yeah. We've got Dale Yeah back here. <laughs> with, you know, Dell uh, memorabilia all behind us. So we thought, why not do a Dell cover? You know, Makes we sense. love Dell. <laughs> so we're going to do uh, one that actually Dolly Parton, Linda Ronstadt, and Emily Lou Harris recorded back in the day on the Trio album. This is called I Feel the Blues Moving In.
a, a wonderful interpretation of a wonderful song. Thank um, you. What is it specifically about that one? I mean, there's such a massive, prolific catalog to choose from in terms of covering Dale's work. What is it in, in particular that really appeals to you about that one? Well, that's one that I've heard Dale do a million times, you know, in, in a kind of more bluegrassy way, and I've always just loved that one. That's one that I feel like people cover. You know, there's so many songs that people cover in jam sessions, even since I was a little kid. Um, here, in, you know, I think, didn't he do Loneliness and Desperation on the Pace session just the other yes. day with you guys? Like, yeah, yeah. like I tuned in and I was like, yeah, you know, it's like just certain songs that just take you back, you know, at least for me, take me back to childhood hearing those songs and jams, even aside from getting to hear Dale do them live. So that's one I've just always loved and then really loved the, the trio version too. I'm a big, you know, Dolly and Amy Lou and Linda fan too. And uh, I think uh, the Cox family recorded that one as well. So there's a few different versions I've always really loved of that song. So we started kind of doing it here and there and I thought, hey, why not do it for this today? Well, it sounds wonderful. We Thanks. really appreciate you playing it. Um, do you remember the first time that you were um, exposed to Dell's music or is it he always just kind of been part of your musical experience? I mean, fabric? it goes way back to the, like, the early days of bluegrass. I mean, I grew up in a little tiny town in, in Tennessee where there's, you know, 900 people in no red light and we definitely didn't have uh, access to a lot of like professional acts that came through you know it was like so we was kind of like dreaming of getting to see a lot of these people live someday but hearing a lot of the songs in the local jams and then it was like every week we would get a new cd and listen and so dell and the boys was the first dell album that i really remember getting i knew who he was but that album i mean we wore that out we just listened to it all the time every time we'd be in the car and uh and so i really that, that was when i really became a big dell fan um i was probably gosh nine you know i was really young yeah yeah well, I love the interpretation that you guys just did. There is, uh, there's another cover in this set. I'm not going to ruin the surprise of what it is, but I'm looking forward to hearing it very much. And I feel like, are you moving into, is, there's an original coming up second, right? Is that true? Yeah, yeah, let's do, yeah. So uh, this is a, a newer tune that I wrote, um, I don't know, probably a little over a year ago, something like that, um, that we've been playing some. It's called Lord, That's a Long Way.
Man, this is a lot Just of Just got toasty love... in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, to that end, because it is so toasty and I am starting to melt right now completely, um, I feel like maybe we just roll into the third song. Let's do it. Yeah, Let's what, do it. Do you, sure. what do you feel like doing third today? Yeah, so um, this is a song that I've, several years back I just, you know, it's one of those songs that I feel like everybody kind of knows and uh, has heard, but maybe you don't even know how you know it, one of those songs, and that was that was it for me, where I suddenly had this melody in my head, and I'm like, what is this song? And finally realized what it was and, uh, and decided I had to learn it. This is Mad World by Tears for Fears.
much. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. It's always great to hey, see you. Great to see you. Thanks for having us here. Yeah, absolutely. Um, have a wonderful main stage set today at, um, well, today. 435, uh, I believe uh, it is. Now, <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Cool. Well, lights off, AC on, and yes, sir. Uh, yes enjoy <laughs> the rest you of your Del Fest. Thanks, you guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right. See you next time. See you later. That's it. We did it. All right. Yeah, thank you. You guys are troopers.